So one of the questions I get asked a lot in the classroom is, how far is too far? If I want to commit to living a life of chastity, how far can I go in my relationship? And I think that that is the wrong question to ask. I think there's a genuine desire to know um, how we can best love someone, but I think that is the question we should be asking. How can I best love the person that I'm dating? How can I best respect them and cherish them for who they are? And it's really important to distinguish between affection and arousal. Affection is all of these healthy ways that we can show someone we care about them in a dating relationship. So it's really fun to brainstorm some ways that we can show affection, but hand-holding I think is so underrated in our culture. I think it feels so good to have your hand held, or hugs, or those simple kisses on the lips, the forehead, the cheek. Any simple way that you're showing that other person that they're special and that they're precious to you. There are other actions that actually prepare our bodies for sex, and these actions are called arousal. And we want to avoid these things when living out chastity so that we don't get ourselves into a situation that we don't want to be in. We draw the line here, and this is really challenging, we draw the line here at making out and anything further. And that might sound extreme. You might be thinking, Lindsay, like, making out isn't a big deal. Like, what's wrong with making out? But the truth is, sometimes even making out can prepare our bodies for sex. So we want to avoid those actions if we're really seeking to live out the virtue of chastity. So it's so important when you're dating someone to sit down and to talk about boundaries. You can have the best intentions when living out chastity, but if you're not clear about what actions that we can show the other person to show affection, then it's really hard day in and day out to continue to choose that virtue. It's so important to be on the same page so that you can both be strong in living out this beautiful virtue of chastity.